Is this true? Cancer cells consume 15 times the glucose of any other cell. Let's find out. The claim is cancer cells use 15 times more glucose than healthy cells. So to demonstrate this point, let's do a healthy cell and a cancer cell, but let's represent them as buckets. And this is the cancer cell. Okay, so we got healthy cancer cell. Okay, so yes, there is glucose coming in heavily into the cancer cell or the cancer bucket. And that's because, like we've already established, every cell in the human body, including your immune system, which helps fight the cancer, runs on glucose. Okay, so we can't cut that out. Yes, cancer is glucose hungry. But here's the thing, cancer cells are not efficient at using that sugar or that glucose that's coming in. So imagine this is a bucket, it's overflowing with glucose, yes, but it's also losing a lot of this glucose out the holes because it is inefficient at using the sugar as fuel. So most is dumped as lactate waste by the cancer cell. It might be hungry, but it is inefficient at using the glucose. And this is referred to as the Warburg effect. To contrast that, the healthy cell, yes, it has glucose coming in as every cell does in the human body, but it's really efficient at using all that glucose. It's actually 94% more efficient. That's huge, right? 94% more efficient than the cancer cell, than this one, at using the sugar it uptakes. So less glucose is going in, but this healthy cell is using more of that glucose, but the glucose hungry cancer cell is way less efficient. It's getting a lot in there, but it's not good at using that as fuel. You want to know a more efficient fuel for powering cancer cells? In a lot of major, major cancers, glutamine. Glutamine is 10 times more efficient. And we're going to talk about that next episode.